Hello everybody and welcome once again to JW Sheridan's Lost Souls. I was busy and I couldn't figure out how I was going to do this uh, Hibachi stuff. Then I watched my own video, episode 3 of Forever Stranded, and I remember how to do it now. So let's get on and do that. Funny having to watch your own video to remember how to do things, but that's a good reason. I also have got, actually, if you look at my health here, difficulty's gone up quite a lot. And also, I've got this one up to adapt, and I'll show you how, how, I was, how I've been doing that in a minute or two. It doesn't always, it's not always 100% um, plain sailing, because, as you see, sometimes you just die. So let's remove that one. <laughs> it's unfortunate that the narrator is on control B as well as the map uh, thing. Uh, anyway, so what we need to do, we need to make a kiln. Now, what I've got over here... Let's go back over here. I just put an item transfer node on here and it basically collects clay for me. <laughs> I just put some dust in there and it just comes out in there. So we've got plenty of clay because we need to make a kiln. And our kiln consists of nine blocks of uh, bricks. So we need, um, and bricks is four, so we basically need nine clay. Let's do that. Uh huh. Half of that, I reckon. Minus one. There we go. <laughs> that was hard work. 36. So let's cook those up. In fact, let's do that in the furnace because it'll go faster in the furnace. I need to find a way to put everything down in a better place, really. Oops, nice leg lock there. So let's just come along here and split this into, say, f six. That'll do fine. Let's put those into here. So these will cook up nice, nicely. into bricks and they should go fairly quickly you, split them into, you can halve those as well of course and fill it I don't know if there's a way to spread it out to, to do it every single one in one sort of shift click type thing let's just sort out my inventory while I'm here put those bits back now but I would like this to be here Just having a quick scan around. So what I did between episodes was mostly do doing that thing. I also removed the uh, the furnace from up here, but unfortunately, I lost it. I think it fell onto the fire that was burning. But this thing is quite useful because you can just turn it on and you get an on and off thing. So you can turn the cauldron on and off with the hibachi, but we need to set up some bellows for that. And I also set up this here. These are basically some hoppers, so when I'm doing wood, they all, these six hoppers were actually are enough to catch just about everything that you drop. And in here I've been catching leather bits from grinding up uh, zombie pigmen parts, as it were. So I reckon these will be finished now. Let's come over here. Yep, we've got those bricks now. I so I can shift click those out of there. And then we should be able to make some some bricks out of this like that. Good. I've got nine. And oh, oh okay. I've done the quest. I didn't realise I was doing a quest. <laughs> so we've done kill. Very good. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now kill is basically what we do is we need the hibachi. Because you need to fire this up through it. I think you have to use a what's it called? A stroked kill to do most of this stuff. So let's pick this up. We need a pickaxe. I don't want to break everything. There we go. Got it. I will need the crucible as well, I think. Gold one, I mean. Good. I didn't check if that was empty, did I? I should have done. So we can come out of here. We we also need a set of bellows. So the kiln, I'm not exactly sure where I want to put it down yet. But the fact... Because we, we need to basically set the kiln so it goes on and uh, the bellows so they go up and down all the time so let's start doing the bellows and we need to make a turntable that was the other key key part i missed out last time in fact they're on, they're actually part of the quest so let's have a look at that so better with mods so all well, i've just completed was kiln well, it doesn't seem to be better with mods that's strange bellows and turntable so let's do let's do um 
turntable first. That's this one. So this is fairly straightforward. We just need a clock. So I'll need to make a couple of clocks. So we're going to make a couple of bellows, I think. Um, turntables. Oh, wrong place. Try doing it on here. I also remember something else I'd done, which was um, a bit daft. Oh, that's taking a long time, isn't it? Like that. Oh, I did some redstone sieving as well to get some redstone up in here, so that was quite a useful trick. But just I was just sieving some sand, I think, with some... I can't remember what I was sieving with. Uh, let's have a look. I've, I've just completely forgotten, because it was yesterday, wasn't it? Let's have a look at the recipe for this stuff. It was sieving. So I was sieving using iron stiffen mesh, that's right, to sieve redstone. Um, I think I was using the diamond one to get uh, gunpowder as well. Because the chances here were 25% and the chances with this one were 12, so it's, you get twice as much for the stuff. So turntable, let's get on with this one. I would like to make at least two of these. Now the gears, there's a trick with the gears, and I'll show you that in a minute. So I think that'll be enough. So we get two turntables, fantastic. And that should complete the turntable quest. So let's have a look at that turntable quest. So it's a joy to reward for clay will take the loot chest because the clay is so easy. Let's have a look at what's in the loot chest, shall we? Oh, food. Beans, that's the magic beans, magic beans, some baked beans, ah, oh, bean reward, that's actually quite good. I've got a lot of space in there or not, let's have a look, I guess I have. I think there was five or there's six pieces, I think that's enough anyway. Can't see any more in my inventory at the moment. In fact, the only use for these, as far as I can see, is to make leather, so let's do that as well while I'm thinking about it. That saves up some invent. Actually, doesn't make any difference for inventory space, does it? Uh, yeah, I guess I got some more, but an odd number, so that's not doesn't save anything. So right, that was that bit done. So turntables done, and then we need um, bellows, I think. So there's two types of bellows. There's a spring action bellows, which are obviously Great, but we need some sword, soul forged steel gears, which we can't get yet at the moment, and springs. So we have to make this one. So we need to, the only thing else we need is belts. I think I've made those already. I made those previously. So we've now got that. We also need a redstone torch and quest is complete bellows. Yeah, so it says the turntable makes crucibles and things like that. We this is pretty nice as it happens. Now, Bellows is this quest. Oh, you see, I've done all of these quests already. I should have accepted them this time. That's good. Let's claim that one. Let's claim the kiln. It's choice reward. I think I'm going to take the... Oh, it's an item reward to get all of them. Anyway, done. Good. And Hibachi. Another item reward. Oh yeah, second the patch, you're great. That's even better. So let's go back to this quest. Let's open up this one, first of all. How we get our piston reward, which is actually really good, so let's do that one. Got another one. What do we get here? A cupboard and some sam rabbit sandwiches. Oh, okay. Do you know I've not made a cupboard yet? Let's have a look at the cupboard. Two cupboards. I wonder how they go. These quests are all getting completed really quickly. That's good. Let's put them. Do they work up there? Oh yes, they do. Ah, oh, yes, this is the the kitchen stuff, isn't it? Immersive craft. Oh, but immersive craft, yeah. Next one. Cobblestone. Outstanding. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. In fact, I've got nowhere to put it at the moment. Let's just put it in this uh, this chest. 
I don't know. I'll just um, put it in here. I might as well put these away as well while I'm thinking about it. Because these we've got already in here. So I think we have anyway. Yep, now we've got six of these things. So that's that one done. Now what else do we need to do? There's quite a few bits and pieces in this. We need to make some clay, which we've got plenty of. Um, put these sandwiches away. 16 saturation. Actually, that's uh, a lot of saturation. That's actually awesome. Sandwiches. Let's put those. I'm not sure I want to put those at the moment because need, I'll need those anyway. Let's put them in. No space in the food chest. I'm going to have to put them somewhere. Let's put them in here for the time being. See, I'm running out of space again. Great. So let's go back to our quests again, because we we've done all those three. So the next thing we've got to do is to make a crucible, unfired crucible. Better with mods crucible. We've already done those. All right. Ah, yes, because yeah, that one's fairly straightforward. We need a bone and so I take a bone out to it those have been doing this the traps every once in a while as you can see I've got a few I think they're in here uh, no they're in here a few a few of uh, baits around and we need some copper ingots and something else I can't remember what the other thing is a bucket of water I think so let's get the bucket of water sorted out too And it's not in there. Bucket of water is in my bag. Oh yes, good. So I'm just using my memory to get those. Maybe I've got it right, or maybe I'm not pretty certain I might have got it right. I've made three. It's my third one. So I'll do that. So we need an unfired crucible. Oh, okay, we're going to turn it. So, I was thinking of something else. I was thinking about the cauldron. Yes, that's right. Actually, should make a... S nope, we got a second cauldron. We don't need to make a second one, do we? Now, this works. This is why we need the axles. It's nice, they gave us six of these things, so let's put that down here, I think. Okay, let me put the turntable on top of it. I'm not sure of where I want everything at the moment, but... Like this. And then that's the speed. It doesn't have any animation, as far as I can see, but we turn this... Oops, didn't mean to do that. What do we need to break this pickaxe? Okay. Right, let's try it again. I'll use an empty hand. Oh, that was the other thing I remembered as well. We can use an, em uh, an empty hand here. So we right click this and it goes slower. Fortunately, I need to be on the top here to do this. Let's just do that. So we put a block of clay on top of this. And it will actually form the next thing. And as soon as it forms the next thing, we're going to have to break it. And I'm not sure how long it takes to do it. I don't really expect it to have done it by now, so I'll move this out of the way. Maybe I've got it too slow. Ah! Oh, no, I haven't. I've done... that's wrong. I need another gearbox. Right, we'll use the silk pick on this one. So I get it back again. That's the whole thing. And this works from underneath. So you have to power this from underneath it. So we will need to bring it... Uh, another gearbox, at least one gearbox, to bring this so we can get it underneath and it'll be quite high. So normally what I'd do is I'd drop it down a bit and bring it up. But for the sake of speed, what I'm going to do, if I need to make more bits, I'll do that between episodes. We'll make at least one gear. So what we need is some red, uh, gold nuggets and some redstone. 38. I'm going to do two of these, aren't I? 
I'll do. That was a funny way of doing that, wasn't it? <laughs> so it didn't make any difference what I did, does it? Right, good. And then we can make um, a gearbox. Oh, so I need to take those out to the other place, to the other one. And we can make our two gearboxes, which is great. I'm going to show you something. What my what I wanted to show you in the first place is take one of these out of here like that. Gears. I've been crafting gears so far. I don't need to. What we need to do is to put this down. I shift click it on here, and they get absorbed, and they will come out into this hopper here. Uh, this one. So I've got four pieces of wood and some bark and some sawdust we do that again and this time we get two sidings we do that again it's a bit strange out of the way that I don't really like that animation I will be honest with you it's a bit annoying so we get two mouldings Put the mouldings down here, like this. and then we get two corners. So I'm messing around a bit. I put the corner down here, like this, and we get two gears. Do the second corner. So we get four gears. That's a lot easier, and I did forget I could do that as well. So, all right, I want to do this, don't I? I need to bring this down. So what I want to do is I'll remove this like this, and then we'll put the, the other gearbox on here so that you can go down. I didn't make the gearboxes, did I? I thought I did. So look, did I not make those gearboxes or did they go into this chest? The well, chest is a bit full. Oh yes, that's what happened to them. They went to the chest. Well, that's great. <laughs> In fact, I want to take a filtered hopper with me and I want to take some ground netherrack. We might have to come back for that. It's looking a bit full at the moment, my inventory as, as normal. I don't need everything I've got on me at the moment either, but I'll do it this way. So, right. Let's go back and put this gearbox down. What I've discovered, what I also sort of discovered, remembered, I don't have to use a tool to twist this stuff around, you just need an empty hand. So I just simply right shift right click this now, and it should, or right click it. Oh, it doesn't work. I thought that worked. Oh well, <laughs> so I do need to use a tool to turn it around. Oh, that's interesting. And I don't have my tool with me. Brilliant. So that's actually changed between... A, oh, yes, I do good. So that's actually changed between versions of the Better With Mods pack. Quite a few bits have, actually. There we go. So that makes its nice smoky noises. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put a another one down the bottom here. So we'll just dig this out here like this. So with a bit of luck I'll be able to put one. You need quite a few gearboxes, that's the thing. I've put one of these gearboxes down like that. And that didn't go into the right position. Let's make sure it does. Do I have to hit a special site? There we go. And we'll put an axle into this one. Because the input always has to be that. That's the input face that you can see there. So we'll need to dig out this one as well. And then we can put it. Hopefully we've got enough. Oh, we've got just about enough axles. That's good. 
So we can put the sackcloth on to oh, roll one. So I get the right thing in my hand here. Huh? That's strange, why is it not connected to that? <laughs> Maybe I didn't do it right. Uh axe. Um actually I think I can use the buckle axe now, can't I? Oh yes I can. I've increased things quite a lot. Uh, levels. It's quite fun. I did a lot of exploring as well for that matter. Let's put that down there. That's better. So we now need another gearbox. And I think I... You know, I'm still not 100% sure what I'd do with these gearboxes. I think I have to sort of do it from the, the other side, don't I? So let's just try that. Yeah, sure enough that didn't. There's a wrong way. So let's get this out again. I'm not sure I think it was going round that way. <laughs> it's awkward. Let's break one block here. And let's see if we can hit this. I don't know if I hit it this way. Ah! That's strange. Okay, good. So we need another axle here. Ah, done it again. I'll get a bit of an XP when I do that. Now we can put the turntable on top of this. And now we should be able to put the clay on top of the turntable. So you see, it's quite a, it's quite a mechanism, a little process, isn't it? So put one piece of clay down like that, and then it actually does work like this, and eventually it should make that. We've got the crucible, one unfired crucible. Now, of course, we have to cook this thing. So that's how that works. Now, the next one along here is actually the one I was trying to do before. And I bet you we've got to do that as well. Let's have a look at the quest while I'm here. Unquired. Oh, no rewards for that. That's weird. Maybe that's just a stepping stone. So we need a planter. So we'll do the planter. Now, the planter is exactly the same thing. As this but the next one down so the first of all it makes a crucible and he throws away one piece of thing then it makes a planter uh, one piece of clay that is so now we've got the unfired crucible and we should have the unfired planter where did that disappear to so it got picked up in the hoppers well, that's strange <laughs> oh there it's down there right got it and we completed the quest. Planter, fantastic. We're getting through these quests today. In fact, I've got so much inventory, I'm going to have to put some of this away. So let's do that first. In fact, there's a lot. A lot's been happening, and there's, there is a lot happening in this mod. It's great. Um, what have I got on me that I can get rid of? Sawdust, bones, water. And the chance cube, and I think I put the chance cubes into here at the moment, aren't I? Yes, I am good. In fact, I'm going to put all of these three things in here because I want to possibly make another cauldron. Planks we don't need with us. I'll tell you what, we've got the sidings and moulding things. We'll put those into this chest over here. We should have space for that. And we've got that one as well, which is probably not the best place for it. The sawdust. Gears. Lots of gears. So we've got the planter, we've got the cruise unfired crucible. Let's have a look at those things while I'm actually doing this. Because we've got a load of crit uh, no no rewards for that one either. So then we have a fire crucible. The next one along is a vase. And then we've got it. You earned it. Exactly. So let's do those. Again, it's just more clay on the Turntable. And I also know what was wrong with my other bits and pieces of well, this clay. So we first of all come to the unfired crucible. Then we get the planter. And then after that, we get the, the vase. Like that one. They're all dropping down, of course. 
don't know where the clay is going to. Now we've completed vase. Just checking around, see what bits are getting thrown back. And then we're going to do it one more time for the urn. Going to get a bit nearer so anything that falls off we can catch it. So then there's the vase and the last one will be the urn. Like that. And we got that one completed too. Did I pick up all that clay? We should be getting bits of clay somewhere and I'm not sure where they're disappearing to. Because <laughs> it's supposed to throw off pieces of clay when it's done it. And I don't see them in there. Next thing we're going to have to do is fire these things, aren't we? So, and then we have to do those in the kiln. So now... What you can also do with this... Put a redstone torch in it. Let's go make a redstone torch. I might have to move things around a bit. In fact, I'm sure I do. Redstone torch we should be able to do here. Well, make two, in fact. Well, no, I'll make one. Oh, well. So we'll just make a straightforward redstone torch. And then you can actually see it going around on the turntable. This animation does work. And it should turn around. I'm hoping it does. It used to. Because that was the way you controlled the bellows. Doesn't seem to be working. Strange. Let's have to put it into the wrong bit. Ah, oh, I know what I have to do. Let's put it on a block, and then you put it on th this on top of that. Then it should turn around. As you see. And then you can control the speed of it. And I think we have to set this to speed 3. I um, can't remember exactly. We'll play with it anyway. So what we do with that... This is going to turn off and on the bellows. Because that's basically what we need for the kiln. So let's do that. Now, bellows. I'm not exactly sure. This is what I'm saying. I'm not sure about how I do this. It's been so a long time ago I did it. And it's... I've forgotten. <laughs> I'll be honest. And I think you put some redstone. I need some redstone. That's what I wanted. Oh, a piece of redstone for. I would like to, before the end of this episode, I'd like to get this kiln working anyway. Um, let's take these redstone with us. I'm not sure whether it's going to work or not. We shall see. Ouch. Yes, that works. So that's how we actually control the bellows. I think the bellows should be put down. Where are they? Here. And I'm not sure how we put these down either, because I think things change a bit between different versions of the... Ah, yes. That's the exit. That's where it'll blow air out of this. I need an axe. Okay. I'm eating. I reckon that eating bit is something, something else. I'm just hesitating. It's like I want to put the, the redstone down here so I can get a bit further away. Let's put those bellows down. I think they go that way. It's the wrong way. So you have to put them for the, the other way around. Okay, now I probably can turn them around with a hammer anyway. Yeah, I can. But they're not actually pumping. Because 
because I've forgotten how to do that. <laughs> Brilliant. And what we have here, I think we need the Hibachi underneath this. Like, like this. And we need to turn these on. Eventually we're going to need nine Hibachis for the most efficient way. So that actually should be blowing and it's not blowing. I'm not sure what I've done wrong. I wonder if the redstone's got to go on top of it. Well, it ain't working. I've, I've got to look it up again. Oh well. I will do that between episodes. And then that blows this to blue. And on top of this we can then put the kiln. So let's do the kiln next. And I think I want it so that it goes. Let's climb back a bit. Turn this one off. And we have to start the kiln one block above. Like this. And I think I want this to be the middle of the kiln. Just wondering which side I blow it from, to be honest with you. So let's break that off there. And then we have to make an eight blocks around this. So I think the middle wants to be above this. So let's go up a bit. Um, so let's set it up like. I think the bell is going to be in the middle. Okay, yes, we'll put the bell. Oh, wrong one didn't want to do that. So we can then set it up like this. I'm going to put. I'm going to put some um, netherrack in the middle. You'll see why in a second. Uh, now I need to get down. I think I can reach everything from up here, from down here. I mean. We need a back part of this, like that. Let me just take the middle out. And then what we do is we put one of our items in here like this. Okay. And then we turn on the... Let's move these out so we don't need this anymore. We just turn on the hibachis. Like that. And that, when it's stroked, which it's not stroked at the moment because I haven't got this thing, should cook this, unless it's actually going to work, an unfired vase. It, I'm sure it has to be stroked. I'm just not sure what I have to do to get this bellows to work. Okay, I'll figure that out between now and the next episode. In the meantime, I'll show you how I've been getting all my XP. What I did is I set up this little thing which you saw before with some spikes underneath there. I've also set up this trough. So it's two down with a um, lapis glass on the front of it and a spike here and some XP collected here. And all I've been doing is I've been going out here, seeing a zombie pigman over there, hitting him. There's one over there. Yeah, there we go. Wait for them to make the noises. Come back here. Stand on this corner. Wait for them. Sure enough, they'll be coming. Oh, he's got a nice little weapon. And they, they fall into there like that. And they die. There we go. Hello, boys. Oh, oh. This is the, the blue ones, the hard ones. We sh we'll start shooting them. And that gives me a good chance of getting... Very noisy. I get lots and lots of XP from this guy, these guys here. They all die. Run out of XP. They can't get out. <laughs> they just die. It's great. <laughs> oh, I've got a heart. Oh, and another one's coming. Let's get out of his way. And you see. I've just got to wait for him to go. He'll die. Pick 
You have a few minutes of the things. What are those drops down there? And this one's going to give me the most drops, but it's not dying very quickly. Let me see if I can tell you what. I've got this iron battle axe. I wonder if I can bash him. No, that's breaking the lapis glass. I just go wait for him to die. And then when he's died, we can um, collect all those bits down there. <laughs> Normally, these blue ones with diamond armor on them fall into here, which is uh, great because then I can go and kill them much easier. Fact. Let's see if we can... No, I can't do it that way. Let's go down one more here. And there he is. Let's hit him with this. Cool, that took a long time. So all I then do is... I think that's probably the end of the zombie pigment sessions. Just go in here, pick up the bits. Like that, and then just put the leather right back again. Simple as that. What have I got? <laughs> 20 XP. Uh, it was 12 before, so that's a lot. And a zombie heart, which is great. Some leather boots, some leather bits and pieces. Let's go and put those uh, into the millstone. That will grind up some, some nice leather. And then we go and put the rest of the bits away. And then this has becomes now the ability has gone from I don't know what it was before, but it'll have gone up. So I just have to repair it. It's a bit expensive in the manilium, but it's not desperate. You're basically using one thing at a time. Uh, but the XP has gone up nicely, and difficulty has gone up to level 82. <laughs> right, and these hearts, I've been using these hearts. I need another one, and then I've basically been making these zombie pigment charm fragments. And the recipe for that is six hearts zombie flesh and a golden sword but that needs to be a complete golden sword and then when I've got six of these we can make the charm or the belt I think it's probably the charm we need to make oh and five in fact we can do it with five 16 magics oh that holds all the charms okay so this is the one I want to use to make the can't see you with this so they can't then see me which is actually great because you can still attack them <laughs> um, I think there was one more thing oh yes there is one more thing I want to show you and that's this you'll notice that where these blocks are, I'm not getting any growth whatsoever, so I've got to move those blocks out of the way. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for that. Probably glowstone is a good choice, because you'll see this one has definitely gr these are definitely growing with the glowstone there. So, so we got plenty of glowstone anyway. There's plenty around, so we can do that. And I'll do that also between episodes. Let me just check this kill while I'm here. Yes, it's definitely not cooked. So this needs to be stroked. So I've just got to figure out what I'm doing with this thing. Okay. And I'm sure I just have forgotten what I'm doing with it. It's just as simple as that. Oops, what's up there? <laughs> oh, in a funny place, aren't I? Let's go like, like that. So, I am in space, aren't I? Let's just go back a bit. Maybe I can go down. Right, there we are. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. 
and I wish you all the best, best until next time, when we should be doing some more Better With Mod stuff, I reckon. So until then, bye for now. <laughs>